going to be a quick reading for Leo, guys. It's Empress Shay Shay. How you doing? What's up? What's up? What's up? Um, I'm still doing $10 cash out readings um, through the weekend, guys. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, Leo. Let's get with it. Thank you guys for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Um, please subscribe me on every platform. I'm on Twitter, Patreon, and TikTok, guys. Okay, let's see. I think I fixed my camera. I've been compelled to pull one of these cards. I'm channeling someone saying, I think you deserve better than me. Okay, the card that came out was Draggling Garden, A New World is Born. Okay, maybe someone, um, A New World is Born. Maybe this person is seeing the world in a different light. Or maybe this person is trying to heal their childhood wounds. Okay? Elizabeth and the line, it's time to become a great leader. Okay? You could be Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo. Or they may be, this card may be speaking to you, Leo. Okay? It's time to become a leader. And it's time to see the world different. Okay? Alice in the Sea of Tears. Cast away out of your depth, feeling abandoned. Okay? Whatever situation you're in, Leo, you always feel abandoned with, with this person or the situation. This is the energy that I'm picking up on. And you're tired of feeling abandoned. You're feeling lost in the world. Okay? The bottom of the deck is let little Olin. Okay? It says wisdom as light as a feather. Okay? You could be a light worker. The next card out is the little wolf girl. It's all right to be alone. Okay, so what is going on? Whatever person you're dealing with, or maybe you, you're tired of being alone. Even when you with this person, you feel alone. It's something going on with this connection. Okay, and you beginning to see this. Are you beginning to see is something wrong with this person? In a nutshell. Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit, show me what you want me to see. Look at this. Did not tell you. All of this is being exposed to you. The universe is exposing this to you. Maybe family, friends, um, God, something is exposing this to you. Okay? It's time to get away from this situation, Knight of Swords. And it's time to move very quickly. You're not moving as fast as you should. But it's time to leave the situation in the past, Leo. Okay? I have Leo energy twice. I have... Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, what else, Holy Spirit? And again, it could be you. It could be the person. Take it how it resonates. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Okay? You was happy with this person in the past. You was showing this person, feeling. you, you was showing them your emotions, your feelings. But nothing was coming out of it. And you was wondering why. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm giving everything I thought that I could give to a person. I'm showing this person I'm I'm different than the rest. Why aren't they reciprocating? This is Cancer Pisces Scorpio. What else, Holy Spirit? Woo. There's another flyer. Okay. Guys, I cannot make this up. This King of Wands came up in the reverse. This motherfucker don't give a damn. You dealing with a king of wands in reverse. You know what a king of wands in reverse is, guys. That is, oh my God. I mean, give me some some water on this, okay? Who, Leo? I gotta get a message. This king of wands in the upright is a leader, okay? Let me get you to understand this. In the upright. This person is a leader, is an upstanding. I like the King of Wands, but this came up in the reverse. This person don't give a fuck. It's no other way that I can even come across with saying anything better. Okay? I have to really think on this card. This is a very negative. When the King of Wands come up in reverse, this is a very negative aspect of this card. Okay? I'm feeling that this person is very arrogant, very aggressive, and they're very aggressive to pursue whatever fucked up goal they got going on. And this is the Aries, 
you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or maybe they had it in their chart. Signs really don't matter to me, but I say the signs to y'all. Just take the message, okay? But regardless, this person does not have a conscience for what they're doing. And they showing restraint. They showing like, okay, I'm I'm reframing from you. I don't want sex with you, or they playing with you with sex. Also, this is a this is this is crazy. This is crazy. This person's very impulsive, dominating, overbearing. Guys, this is fucked up. They make very hasty, fucked up decisions. I mean, this is the energy that I'm getting. All these downloads just coming to me. This is crazy. And you know what? It all makes sense. This person is doing all this because they want to make you submissive to, submissive to them. And this is a part of their character. They want you to either remain submissive or be submissive. And I get the energy of their like power hungry. But in the reverse, this is the worst part of a fire sign. This is the worst quality of a fire sign. This person is very manipulative. Didn't I just show y'all that? Guys, this is crazy. This is crazy. And this person don't care how they what they do. It's like bully energy. It is really bully energy. I'm getting all these messages off this card. Let me move on to the next card. And if you face if you guys are facing all these issues. In this relationship with this person, this is why, because this person is arrogant and bossy and is a bully. And it's either their way or the highway. This is what I'm getting. And they trying to force your hand and pressure you to do something. Basically, if you did something wrong to this person, they're not going to tell you. They're going to do fuck shit to you, like um, bully you, like hold back and do like emotional fuck shit to where you're going to know the next time. Not to do this. But how do you know that you even did anything when they don't even communicate it? And this is a lack of leadership and um, direction. Bottom of the deck is Page of Swords. Didn't I tell you? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you said something to this person that they didn't like. So that's why they're doing this. Guys, I tell you the fucking truth, Leo. Woo! What else, Holy Spirit? Give me something to end this reading. Okay. Look at this. This is fucking crazy. These two cards came out. Look at this. They doing all of this. And they, they doing all of this right here. And they standing firm on being an asshole or a bully, but they still want reconciliation. They still want to be with you. They still see, I want to celebrate with you. I want to happiness with you. But they still may or may not have you in an entanglement that could be for somebody else. Okay? Guys, guys, guys. Look what came up. Didn't I say all this was from, all this has been happening all in the past. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is what you've been going through with this person. Past, present. Look at this. Our future. I cannot make this shit up. I cannot. They want you on their terms. And they terms only, baby. You could be dealing with a Virgo. A Virgo could be doing this. Ooh, or this King of Wands could be. Let me tell you something. You could have a Virgo that's embodying the King of Wands in reverse energy. 
That's what I'm picking up on. You could be dealing with an earth sign that's embodying that energy of the king of, um, of, the king of wands. And they're going to contact you. Look at this. Look at the two cards just came out. Look, look at this shit. And guys, I'm going to tell you the truth. When you get the devil and the ace of wands, this is, this is not good. This could even be a STD. Okay? That could be another reason why they're holding back from you. Okay? I'm just, just keeping it real. Let me just sit real quick and see what I feel on this Ace of Wands card because, man, because I look at this as the male phallic. So if you look at this as the male phallic and this come out with this, then what do you, you know what I'm saying? It is crazy. But there is a good chance of you being with this person. But this is a lot of... This person has a lot of... I'm going to say this could be obsession too. Okay? This is very upset. This is sexual obsession to me. That's the energy also that I'm picking up on. That is the energy that I'm embodying right now from this. This person has a very unhealthy sexual desire. They could have a sexual addiction. Um, also, so I'm picking up on a lot of different things, guys. So take it, take the message how it resonates, okay? They waiting to start a new project with you, but they're very obsessive. Maybe because they have a sex addiction and they, they I just told you, the Three of Cups, they out there doing things with other people. You know, that could be it too. And maybe you guys still have a long way to grow. You know, you still planting seeds with this person, still trying to figure out who you're dealing with and what, you, what you're dealing with. But it's time to find your own voice and your own place in the world because this, th this energy is not a good energy at all. Okay. All right, Leo. And that's Capricorn, and again, that's Aries energy. So this has been your reading. Light and love.